Alright, uh, hey YouTube, this is Missile3944. Today I'll be doing a, another video review of my new camera that I uh, just got a few hours ago. It's the uh, Kodak C182 um, Easy Share. This is a, di a digital camera I got at Best Buy for I think about $90. It was on sale. Uh, it's 12 megapixels. Really crisp, really nice. Um, so on the front right here you got the lens, it's optical zoom and it can do a little digital zoom too. Um, got the Kodak uh, lettering right there, flash and this is just the uh, the timer button and this is I believe the microphone. So on the top right here we have the selector on what kind of mode you want to select it. Uh, there's, alright so there's pic uh, camera mode that is um, video mode, anti-shake mode, and the P is, I'm not really sure, uh, so, and then that little flower right there, that's macro mode, so you can take pictures of close, things close up, and uh, that is a jogger, if you can see it, kind of, it's a jogger, and then the other one, uh, that's scene, so it has different settings for different scenes, um, this camera is really nice. Uh, right here we got three times optical zoom, uh, and then right here we got on or off, on or off button, uh, and the flash button. The flash button, I don't really like how it's there because I never use the flash. So uh, right here on the side we got a huge screen. It's three inches, three inches, guys. I'll just turn it on for a second. All right, so uh, take a look at that. That's three inches right there. That's that's pretty big. And it closes, it's got the little Kodak symbol. Um, also, yeah, so right here we have the the zoom width, ta or width, and you know, you know, zoom in and out. Uh, this right here is the erase button. Uh, this is the menu button. I haven't really discovered this a lot. Um, this is the information button. And right here, the selector pad, so you can go through your photos, all that stuff. Then, uh, right here, we have the play button, so you can look through all your photos in that mode, like other other cameras. And then, uh, right down here, you can see that red little button. That's the share button. I've never used that, but the one thing that I don't like about the software is, uh, you know, I'll, I'll share that to the end. Uh, right here, nothing on the side. Bottom... This is the, so you can mount your uh, bipod or tripod, or tripod. Right here we have the batteries. Right now I'm using a, a nickel metal hydride batteries. They're rechargeable. They last forever. Uh, I think I got them 15 or $20 at Radio Shack. Right here I got a one gigabyte memory stick. So I believe it holds about 400 pictures because of the compression rate, even though that it's 12, me 12 megapixels. And uh, right here we have the, I think this is a proprietary jack right there. It's not mini USB, it's too small to be mini USB. And then we have uh, the trusty steed, the uh, trusty old hand thingy. So, um, uh, the great things about this camera, you know, it's uh, really, really nice. Just relatively cheap flash pictures are great. Um, 12 megapixels, come on guys, that that's awesome. Um, it's got a really nice uh it's a fingerprint magnet for the uh for the screen it's a really big screen perfect great display uh, i'll probably put some pictures that i took on of this camera it's really high detail uh the buttons are really nice they're big, kind of big so you can see really easy uh sd card slot and everything you know normal easy uh you can use an sdhc uh or just a regular SD card. SDHC is a uh, standard, or, sorry, uh, it's high capacity so it can hold a lot more and burn or take pictures a lot faster. Alright, so, uh, yeah, um, I don't like about this cam. what I don't like about this camera is, uh, you, you have to use a proprietary Kodak software that you have to download and it's just a hassle. And, uh, another thing that kind of ticks me off kind of a little bit, but, is uh I have this uh it's uh you just plug you know you just take the SD card plug it in here and plug it into USB port of your computer and you're done but uh when I use it it doesn't work because it doesn't have the software or the 
it doesn't have like the operating system loaded onto the camera it doesn't it doesn't have the you know the information that the computer wants to receive so that kind of pissed me off because I, I really like this instead of uh, taking a cord and plugging it in and making sure it doesn't drop because I've dropped three or four cameras in my lifetime but uh that's really it I mean and uh then you have to copy paste all that stuff if you want to get them viewable but uh one nice thing actually is that you just hit that share button it uh just transfers it to Facebook if you want or YouTube um uh the video quality isn't th uh that bad I'll just show you right now so right now it's turning on it shows you that all right so sh uh it has a well it had the 12 megapixel 12 megapixel sign shown so um right here so you just hit menu uh so look, 12 megapixel right there uh hold on right picture size you can change it if you want because of memory i only have a one gigabyte in here so i'm probably gonna be doing a uh just uh like 10 megapixel or 8 megapixel 12 just seems like oh man uh 10 yeah uh that's 6.2 if you can see that that's 3.1 uh 2.1 and 1.2 1.2 is the lowest so it's going to be the lowest grade but uh the display is really crisp uh it's kind of hard to see but it is truly like very very crisp and you just uh to just go back you just tap down right here so thanks for watching my review of the Kodak C182 uh, digital camera.